Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. I'm Peter Loshek. Today is Friday, August 19th. We are continuing our uh, preseason college football coverage of, uh, of coaches, looking at coaches' ATS tendencies with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Steve, of course, uh, is a, a full-time college football handicapper. That's all he does. His website is collegefootball.com, and he is the real deal. You should go there. His long-term record uh, with, his, uh, with his premium picks is very successful. And at the end of this video, he will give his own uh, extended plug of his site. Right now, we're going to take a look at... Uh, at Gary Patterson from TCU, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Thanks for being back with us. Thank you for having me back, Peter. And of course, uh, I forgot to mention that he also wrote a book called The, Ble the Betting Black Book, which you can get at amazon.com, which is uh, where all this information comes from. All right. Gary Patterson at TCU. He's been the head coach at TCU for a while, and I guess my only association really with TCU in recent years is that they're a team that sharp guys have tended to back both uh, week in and week out on spreads and also with uh, with futures odds, and that makes sense because uh, when they have a, a top defense, they can have you know one of the elite defenses in the country, and of course uh, then they had Trevon Boykin, so they can have that big explosive offense. So my only real association with TCU is uh, a team that I want to look to bet on and a team that I usually think that the Sharps are more likely than not to be backing. What can you tell us about uh, TCU under Gary Patterson? Yes, thanks, Peter. This is, as you said, an extension. This video is an extension of the book that I actually have right in front of me, The Betting Black Book. People can get on Amazon. Peter Loshak wrote the foreword. Very nice. So in that book, I have a, a certain number of... It, it basically, The Betting Black Book is a betting history of all 128 active FBS head college football coaches. So it goes back 10 years. And that's important for Gary Patterson because he's been at TCU since 2000. So since the book covers the last 10 years of betting data from all these coaches, we're just looking at, so we're not looking at Gary Patterson's entire tenure at TCU as the head coach, just the past 10 years. So from 2006 through the 2015 season. So how has he done in the last 10 years against the spread overall 71, 55, and 1. That's 56.35%, Peter. And this is a good time to mention to or to remind viewers that the break-even point in standard college football betting is 52.38%. So anything that you hear above 52.38% means he is uh, profitable or he's outperforming expectations. Anything below that, not profitable, maybe underperforming expectations. So overall, he ranks 30th among all active coaches against the spread quite good. At home now, Peter, at home for TCU last 10 years, 38 and 23 against the spread. That's 62.3%. That's 11th best among all coaches that are active in the FBS. Away, pretty lackluster, a 29, 27 and one. So just take one of those wins, turn it into a loss and he's a perfect 500 there. So nothing exceptional there. Narrow point spreads. So in this category, I classified narrow point spreads as the as betting lines that were less than a field goal, so less than three points. And here I did not differentiate between uh, underdogs and favorites. Why? Because the last 10 years of college football betting, Peter, underdogs and favorites, so if, if one team opened as a favorite um, of less than a field goal, it became the underdog 25.37% of the time and vice versa. So I, I thought it would be misleading to refer to one of those teams, underdog or favorite, at such a narrow point spread uh, as just that, an underdog or a favorite. So in those narrow point spreads, doesn't matter underdog or favorite, something less than a field goal at the close, Gary Patterson is 10-4 and four against the spread. That's 71.43%. That is excellent. Speaking of favorites, as a favorite, so here defined as a favorite as at, uh, one of at least three points, so at least a field goal. He's 53 and 44 against the spread. Pretty good, 54.64%. But he has a definite sweet spot here. So if we carve out any sort of favorite that TCO has been under Gary Patterson for the last 10 years, if they've been a favorite under 14 points, we forget about that. So let's just look at when they've been a prohibitive favorite, the big favorites, at least two touchdowns. Gary Patterson is 35 and 20 against the spread. That's 63. 0.64%. So big favorite. He does very well in that spot. As an underdog, he's 12, 7, and 1. So it's an underdog of at least three points. That's again profitable, 63.16%. His sweet spot as an underdog, once again, is being a being an underdog of at least a touchdown. 
In those games, he's 9-3, and three, 75% against the spread. In conference, so this category, he looks really good. In conference, at first glance, 48-32-1. So it's winning at 60%. If we ignore the push. But that includes when TCU was in the Mountain West Conference through 2011. So looking at just Big 12 play, he is an even 18 and 18 against the spread. Out of conference, last 10 years, 23 and 23. So an even 50% against the spread right there. Total preparation. Okay, in this category, when uh, this was when a coach and his team had at least 10 days to prepare for their next opponent. So I call that total preparation time. So that's the first game of the season. That's after a bye week. That's before bowl games, before college football playoff games. At least 10 days of preparation. He is 24 and 11 against the spread. That's winning at a rate of 68.57%. That's the 15th best among all active coaches in that category. But his prep sweet spot, Peter, is after an in-season bye week. Gary Patterson, the last 10 years, after an in-season bye week, is 14-2 and two against the spread. I mean, that's ridiculous, 87.5%. He is number one in the nation in that category among coaches who have played more than or have had more than five bye weeks. First game of the season, also one of those prep categories. He's just 6-4, and four, so nothing um, too outstanding there. Here's some, uh, some preseason hype considerations. So the AP poll is going to be released later this weekend as we're recording this. It should be released Sunday, August 21st. Now, there is a, there's a good chance that TCU could be in a very good chance they're in the top 15, possible in the top 10. I'd say top 15. But here's the, the key number to look out for for TCU is top 20. Like most teams, Peter, when TCU does better against the spread when they don't have all this preseason hype. So when they're ranked outside of the top 20 in the preseason poll. Last 10 seasons under Gary Patterson, when they've been ranked in the preseason top 20, so not just top 25, top 20, he's 37 and 40 against the spread. So that's winning at a rate of 48.05%. That's obviously underperforming expectations. When not in the preseason top 20, so anywhere from 21 to not ranked, he's 34, 15, and 1 against the spread. That's 69.39%. So what a huge difference. Top 20 versus not top 20 in the preseason. So pay careful attention to where TCU lands in that preseason AP top 20. So in sum, for Gary Patterson, where he outperforms, at home. Great at home against the spread coach. Ranks 11th in the country. Great at narrow point spreads. We said 71.43%. Just phenomenal after a bye week, Peter. 14 and 2 against the spread. Where he underperforms or doesn't quite meet expectations. When he's a favorite of less than two touchdowns. So anywhere from three to 13 and a half points, he is 42.86% against the spread. That's definitely underperforming. And he's perfectly average in both Big 12 play and out-of-conference play. All right, Steve, interesting stuff. Kind of confirmed uh, most of my associations with uh, Gary Patterson and TCU. Give a plug for your website, collegefootballwinning.com. I'd be happy to. At collegefootballwinning.com, all we do is college football betting analysis all year round, even in the off-season. We're a company founded on making betting recommendations algorithmically. And we call those algorithmic betting recommendations our formula. Our formula, the lifetime of the company, is 59.89%. That's almost 500 recommendations, 500 formula recommendations. It's actually 495 to be exact. Come to collegefootballwinning.com. We always offer a 100% money-back guarantee on the entire season. And if you go there and put in coupon code SBR10, that's SBR10, We'll give you 10% off of any membership that we're currently offering. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Peter. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.